Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I have a haul for you today. I went shopping recently and I did a really, really big one in Zara. And let me tell you, Zara has so many amazing things at the moment. And I think it's because we're now in autumn. I'm super excited just to have a brand new wardrobe. I'm excited to wear coats. I'm excited to wear dark lipstick, dark makeup. And I'm also excited to wear boots. I've missed my boots. And I do have a couple I'm gonna be sharing with you in this video. And just a few things. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. I did want to touch on some books I've been reading as well. I love love reading and I tweeted recently about reading tons and tons of books and some people were like can you share in the video what you're reading right now and um, I just thought I'll just recommend some of these reads. Um, the first one is The Defining Decade and this is by Meg J PhD. She is a psychologist and this book is all about why your 20s matter and how to make the most of them now. I'm in my 20s, I'm 24 to be exact and and this is such a great book because it touches on everything from love to uh, your work life to your brain to your body just in life in general and I love the fact that they're written in kind of like story form so there's lots of different people who share their stories and I know that there's bound to be one or two stories in this book that resonates with anyone out there and you don't have to be exactly in your 20s to read this you can be younger you can be older there's a lot of insight into life in general and I think there's some really really good you know pieces of wisdom in this book so definitely definitely check it out it's called the defining decade and it's by meg j phd the second one is americana by chimamanda ngozi adichie and you guys already know that i'm such a big fan of this writer she's an amazing writer i read her last book um half of a yellow sun and that's probably one of my favorite books ever because it's just so well written and the story and the stories of the characters in that um, book was just so inspiring and I, I just really loved reading it so I went straight ahead and bought Americana so if you loved Half of the Yellow Sun you'd love this book and if you haven't read Half of the Yellow Sun I suggest you go and pick it up right now it's a really amazing book it's, it's up there up there with my other two favorite books. Um, but yeah, this is what I'm currently reading, uh, or these are the two books I'm currently reading. I don't know, I'm strange like that. I can't read just one book. I have to read two at a time because I get, I don't get bored easily, but I just wanna, I'm, I'm just too eager to find out what's going on <laughs> in other books. That's why I watch lots of different programs at the same time as well. I can't just like focus on one, I, I just go a bit crazy. But I'm reading both of them at the same time. Nearly done with this one, as you can see, my bookmark man, he's right from the last few, you know pages this is a really cool bookmark it's from waterstones they had a like a girl one but i like the guy one because it's black the girl one was pink and i thought i prefer black <laughs> black and white so i went for that one but anyway i digress uh, these two books are amazing um the defining decade by meg jp phd and americana by chimamanda ngozi adichie Okay, so onto the clothes and especially my Zara buys. There's quite a lot of Zara and like dots of other uh, brands as well, but I think this haul should really be called the Zara haul because there's quite a lot of Zara things. And you know, when I walked in there, my pockets was already crying because my pocket knew I was going to spend lots and lots of money. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Anyway, the first thing I wanted to share with you guys is this really, really gorgeous camel coat. I mean, look at that. First of all, first of all, can we talk about this really nice detail on the front? I feel like I can do so much with this. If I want to look vogue, I can just put it over like that. If I want it to look really free and easy and casual, I can just throw it over. I can have it as a cape. And I love the fact that it's a tie around waist because that's really easy. I'm a bit lazy. I don't like the whole belt thing uh, where you have to look buckle and stuff. Yeah, I just really like to just throw it on and just tight it just had to be mine it was a bit expensive i'm not gonna lie it was 160 pounds which is quite expensive i think it's the most i've ever paid for a coat yeah then i think it's worth every single penny because it just looks absolutely gorgeous on and i have actually posted on my blog a photograph or a couple of photographs actually wearing this and oh my god and before i forget to say i've had a whole refurbishment and revamp of my blog shirleyswardrobe.com so make sure you check it out check out all the um, posts on there and all the pictures i love blogging and i love to write and hopefully i'm going to be posting more so check that out shirleyswardrobe.com next we have a yellow dress yes you heard that correctly a yellow dress. When was the last time you saw me in colour? Like literally, I hardly ever wear any colour. I went and sold 
like practically all of my wardrobe and gave a lot of it to charity and majority of the stuff was just color and i don't know i went through that whole phase of you know just wanting to wear black and white in neutral and you know browns and khakis and stuff and i just when i would see color i'd just be like oh too bright too bright but now i don't know and trust me as the season is changing from summer to autumn that's when i go pick up bright color Typical. This dress is so gorgeous and it was on sale. It was originally £30 or so, I can't remember, but then it came down to £17.99. And I tried it on just because, I don't know, I just thought, let me just try it on just to see how it looks. And it looks so amazing, so sexy. I think I can wear this on a night out if I'm going for that whole bright look, or I can wear it during the day with a leather jacket and maybe some boots. It just looks absolutely gorgeous. And I love the fact the back as well, it's got this kind of dip detail, so. I'm actually gonna have to look for a good bra to wear with that because I don't want my bra strap showing. Um, if you guys have any recommendations for like good bras with um, without a back, or I can't wear those um, stick on bras. <laughs> my boobs, nah. I tried that in the past and it was an absolute fail. I need something that really gives it good support but then um, allows for um, low backs and stuff. But anyway, the dress is so pretty. It's a midi length dress. And I think it's very a very, very nice color. Back to the boring old neutrals. <laughs> I have a jumper and it, or a sweater. This is a an over blah, 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 I can't talk. This is an oversized uh, sweater jumper, and I love the fact that it just looks so easy on. It's just one of those pieces that you can literally throw on anything. You can layer it up, or you could just wear it on its own. I was thinking about wearing it with just a pair of leggings and maybe some boots. Or I could wear it with a pair of jeans and open toe heels, you know, the works. This is one of those pieces that you, you can literally do anything with. Next from Zara is a black blazer. And you're probably thinking, Shirley, how many black blazers do you have for God's sake? I have two, and this is the third one. And the reason why I wanted to buy this one, even though I had two, is because they're different cuts i have is just a normal blazer with you know a lapel and then i have another one that has more of a peplum look to it but this one is different because it doesn't have a lapel and it's very straight and it's long as well and it looks absolutely gorgeous on we have it with like a pair of tailor trousers for the whole androgynous look i think it look goes really well with this hairstyle at the moment so yeah how much is this one again oh this one was expensive it was £75 and I, I didn't know how much it was so um because it didn't have a like the price tag on it and here's me thinking I'm gonna pay £40, £50, get to the till and she's just like £75 and you know when you're at the till right you don't want to be like oh no 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 I don't want it I don't want it no, 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 it's too expensive you're just gonna be like okay yeah 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 just just put it in the bag and then you later go home and then you evaluate do I really need it or should I take it back but in this case, I'm not going to take it back because I really like it. Next from Zara is this bag. Now, let's just, you know, look at the gorgeousness that is this bag. It's just a simple black bag. Look at the design. Just, just, just admire it. You know, just, just look at it. Yeah, I'll, I'll just let you carry on looking at it. It's really, really nice and I needed a black, an everyday black bag because my favourite one I actually sold on Depop because I just wanted to get a new one and um, I didn't want to get a, a new one and still have that one so I thought I'll sell that one and then I'll go and hunt for a new one and so when I came across this one in Zara I absolutely fell in love if you look on the inside it's got one of those like inserts it's got a nice zip detail the zip itself is a very is a very large golden zip it's very gorgeous and it's affordable it's 39.99 I mean look at the bag it looks expensive doesn't it and it's such a shirley bag isn't it I I've been doing the whole clutch thing where I just you know I've been carrying around a clutch or small bags but after I saw this I was like okay I'm team totes now I'm team big bag I'm team big bag I put my clutch in there and then use it but um, I'm gonna be using this one for quite a while so the last two things from Zara are a pair of shoes. Let's start off with the gorgeous snakeskin print. Uh, one, uh, it's just a pair of court shoes. I'm a very big fan of court shoes. I think that they look very nice and feminine and they're also very sexy as well. And the thing I love most about these is the heel height. They're not too high, so they're, they're actually very wearable and I think they're very comfortable. But then I always say heels are about commitment rather than comfort. You have to commit to wearing them and you have to commit, in some cases, to the pain that comes from wearing them just to look good because we all know that fashion fashion over health fashion is pain <laughs> no pain no gain next are a pair of black ankle boots now these are very very pointy and they remind me of something that 
you know, a very high fashion model, you know, strutting down the runway would wear. Or like, you know, when designers do illustrations of their designs, they always have like pointy black shoes with them. And I don't know why this reminded me of that so much, but I really like this. And I actually pictured wearing this with a pair of leather trousers, a black cami and a black blazer, just for that really nice all black sleek look, maybe with my hair like, like this or held back or even out. I don't know. But I really, really like these. And again, the heel height is just perfect. These were actually on sale, believe it or not. They were $39.99 and they dropped down to $29.99. I don't know why, because I think they're still current season. But hey, I, I like them. I like them very, very much. Okay, so I have a pair of trousers to show you from And Other Stories. Um, and Other Stories is a recent discovery of mine. Um, I know quite a few people here on YouTube already know about it, but I never really ventured in there because, I don't know, it's too far. There, there isn't an, an Other Stories store, like where I live. I have to go into London, into central London to go shop there. And obviously, I would shop online, but I like to, I prefer to try things on and see how they sit on me before I, you know, venture onto online stuff. So I went in there and that's where I found that really nice clutch. That's where I found that really nice bangle. And I also tried on some of their clothes. And the thing I was very, very impressed by is the fit and the tailoring and just the look of their trousers. So I bought this one. It is slightly pricey than um, pairs of trousers I've bought in the past. This was £75. No, £65, £75. Euros. And I love the fact that it's got a white panel. I used to have a pair of trousers from Topshop, very similar to these. But then again, the fit was quite off and it just didn't sit on my body shape as nicely as I would prefer. And when I came across this and I tried it on, it was perfect. The length was perfect. The butt area was perfect, the waist area was perfect, and I just had to, I had to buy it. Next is a pair of coordinates from Misguided Pencil Skirt in a kind of like knitwear, you know, light grey and a crop top. And I like the fact that I can actually wear these with different things. So I can wear the skirt with a different top, or I can wear the top with a different uh, bottom, either skirts, trousers or whatever but i like it i like both of them and they were very very cheap they're 14.99 each i believe and i think it's good the last two things i've had for quite a while i've even featured one of them on my blog already but then i haven't showed them in a video yet and they are two mats from asos a white one and a black one i love mats especially for the autumn season because they're quite light but then they're, they're really nice to layer and i like that they're quite easy and then you can wear them with a casual look like i would literally just throw on my black mac if i'm wearing like a sporty top a pair of black ripped jeans and my um, nike trainers or i'd wear this even with a, uh, a top like this or a black dress or like just you know any old thing like a, an all white outfit or an all black outfit a neutral outfit a colorful outfit doesn't matter but i like max and um, they're very long what i'm actually planning on doing is i'm, do I'm i want to do a, a tiny bit of diy with the buttons i think the black buttons look very well on the black mac but i think that this would really look amazing if i you know change these to white buttons so did you know, do you know what I did? I went and I bought some white buttons. I bought them from John Lewis. John Lewis have a really lovely haberdashery where you can go and buy lots of materials, um, buttons and a whole bunch of stuff for like DIYs and like sewing and stuff. And they have some really cute buttons I bought. And they were only like 65p each, 65 pence. And let me just illustrate to you. I think, don't you think that this would look much better? like the white, like it would, I think it would look a hundred times better. Obviously the black adds a really nice monochrome touch to it, but I feel like I'll be more flexible with this if it was all white. Just see in the place of that. Can you see where I'm going with that? Yep, yeah, I'm planning on doing that. And then you see it when I do do it. Oh, I forgot to show you guys these. I got this from Zara and they came in a pack, a gold uh, choker and a silver choker. I love the simplicity of this. And it was only 19 for both. So that makes it like 10 pounds each. And it just looks so good and so simple. I love simple jewelry. Um, as you can see today, I'm not really wearing jewelry just because I don't know what jewelry to wear. Um, I've literally just done my hair, done my makeup and I've just put on this top. I don't even know what I'm gonna wear for the rest of the day. But, and that's why I haven't chosen my jewelry. But um, I might actually just do this one. Hmm, this is nice. I like this and this is the silver one it's just very nice and very simple like 
effortless. So I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I've been wearing a lot of my natural hair recently. And uh, natural in the sense of it being wee free. I am still relaxed, I, re I relax my hair. Um, although I haven't relaxed my hair in a very long time. I think the last time I relaxed my hair was about nearly two, no, was it two months? No, it was about six weeks ago. Yeah, my mum did my relaxer. My mum does all of my hair. My mum was a great hairstylist. Well, she used to be a hairstylist. She's no longer a hairstylist, but she does hair on the side occasionally for me and some of my friends and a few friends, like family and stuff. But she literally takes care of my hair and I'm really grateful to her because I know how hard it is to, to find a decent hair salon that, you know, um, specialises in Afro-Caribbean hair. The struggle is real in that sense. Hopefully be fine and if you know of any i'd love to know although my mom still does my hair it would be nice to you know recommend to other people as well uh but anyway i've been wearing a lot of my hair and um decided to put the weave away for a little while it might come back who knows and i had a trim i'd say more of a cut because about this much of my hair yeah about about three inches of my hair left because it was still quite long but then it was very wispy and it didn't look healthy and I remember when my hair used to be very full and very long and very healthy and then the whole weave thing and colouring and heat and stuff just really really damaged it not to talk of the relaxers I was doing as well so I'm really trying to get my hair to a point where I'm really happy with it and I'm taking care of it more even though I'm going to be doing weaves in the future and like wearing wigs and stuff I'm still going to put more emphasis on taking care of my hair underneath. So today I have it just, you know, swept to the side and a really small bun at the back, just keeping it really nice and simple. I like it actually, I like this hairstyle. And uh, okay, so the products I bought recently, just to, you know, use for like daily care. Um, I still use my Cara Care shampoo and uh, Cara Care conditioner, the Humecta conditioner, but those are for my really deep conditioning days. And the shampoo that, I bought is the de detangling no is it detangling shampoo or hydrating shampoo one of them and it's more for clarifying but um, for co-washing and regular use I bought the organic smooth hydration argan oil shampoo and conditioner and this stuff smells amazing I literally look forward to washing my hair just because it just smells amazing and makes my hair smell amazing. And um, they have a really fabulous range. I also bought the Argan Oil and Shea Butter Moisture Restore uh, Weightless Oil. And I love this oil because it doesn't leave my hair feeling greasy. It adds a, a tiny sheen and it's good to use when I do moisturise my hair and then I apply the oil just to seal it. And the moisturiser I've been using, or I bought recently to use, is the Coconut Oil with vitamin e strong root spray it's actually for the roots but then it's really good to use on the hair as well so it moisturizes the hair and the scalp and it's got eucalyptus and um a bit of peppermint so it really soothes the scalp and makes it all nice and tingly all i do is take it out and i just spray the scalp massage it with my hands and i spray the hair as well just to get it really nicely moisturized and then if i feel like it i'll just use like a, a very dime like a dime size or pea size um a bit of the argan oil on my hair. So I have a few makeup bits here that I bought recently. Nothing too major, nothing too, you know, crazy. Just um, MAC Fix Plus, which is one of my favorite um, products from MAC. I like to use this to set my makeup. And I, I bought the large, the large bottle. This is very good to refresh your skin as well throughout the day. And I wanted to try out this new brand called Kiko Cosmetics. And I've heard lots and lots about this from my friends Barbara and Michelle. And they were like, Shirley, you need to go try them out and see what you think, because they love them. And so I bought the eyelash curler, and it's very, very similar to the Shoot Wimmer eyelash curler. The only difference is that the Shoot Wimmer eyelash curler is 20 pounds, and this was only five pounds. I've used this once or twice. I think it's good, don't get me wrong, but I still prefer my Shoot Wimmer ones. There's just something about them. The clamp on that one just seems a little bit more sturdy and this one I guess I I like it still but I think it just lives in like my everyday makeup bag but um I tend to reach for that one a bit more but if you are looking for something similar and you don't mind that it, whether it's not sturdy enough and obviously want something in your budget try out the Kiko one it's it's good now the three things I'm super excited about from Kiko are these lip tints that I bought oh my gosh gorgeous 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 they feel like 
jelly on my lips and I love to wear them on days when I'm not wearing too much makeup um, like the makeup I did in my last get ready with me video so I'd probably substitute the Vaseline for this and oh my god I love it first shade is this gorgeous kind of pinky shade I mean look at that and the, the wand itself is just really nice and it goes on so smoothly I love it and the second one is just a peachy kind of shade I think this one's number two this one's slightly similar to the other one but a bit more peachy they are five pounds each five or six pounds each and gosh they are gorgeous i can wear them over like a lip uh, combination like i'm wearing or i can wear them on their own i i prefer to wear them on their own because it's very it feels gorgeous on the on the lips i can't really explain how it feels you're gonna have to go try it out for yourself lastly i have a lipstick from nars now this is my first ever nars lipstick i mean surely I've been wearing makeup for five years and I've never ever purchased a nice lipstick. I'm just so pro MAC lipstick and pro Rimmel lipstick and now pro Zoeva lipstick but I've never really like ventured into the world of NARS and I came across this lipstick on someone's uh, YouTube channel um, I can't remember her name but I will link her down below if I remember. Such a beautiful girl she had this on her lips and I was like oh my god I want that and I went and I swatched it and it's such a gorgeous pink I'm telling you it's got this kind of like a bluey iridescence but then the thing that I love about this is the fact that it's matte and the other the only other matte lipstick I absolutely love in the entire world is my Ruby Woo by MAC and I guess this could be the pink version because it's matte and it looks good and I can imagine this with Night Moth lipstick sorry Night Moth lip liner or Hover lip liner I can see the sun coming in and good thing it's just on my arm and not my face and I'm just about to wrap this video up but the last thing I wanted to share with you guys are some nail polishes and they're all for fall or for, all for autumn before my British subscribers start shouting at me and saying it's not fall it's autumn Shirley you're British say autumn okay so back to the nail polishes I bought some gorgeous fall shades autumn shades <laughs> from American Apparel and this is called Port and then I have um, a, a neutral, nudie, peachy type one, and it's called Dance. This is probably what I'm going to wear next. And then I have this one, it's gorgeous. It reminds me of Mushroom by Barry M. And it's just, this is called Mouse. It's just, uh, you know, kind of like a greyish khaki. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. I do hope you enjoyed the haul, and I hope that you've seen something, one or two things that tickle your fancy that you can add to your wish list or pick up. When next you go shopping and as always it's been a pleasure thank you so much for tuning into my channel once again and i will speak to you all soon bye